so much because I teach two Tuesday, three Wednesday, three Thursday, two Friday, Monday I teach another class. So it's 10 to 12 a week depending on what my Mondays look like. It's a lot on your throat. I, um, my body can do it like all day. It's just my voice is not as primed. So if anyone is a speech language pathologist and can tell me life hacks for my voice, let me know. I'm in a speech anatomy and physiology class anyways right now, but I haven't learned any tips or tricks quite yet. I'm on my way to the seed to get a coffee so I don't fall asleep at the wheel. And a smoothie. I have been eating a lot of croissants lately and I just do not feel my best so I was like you know what I'm gonna cut out the croissants and all the dairy and everything that I've been like cheating my veganism with and go back to my roots and what makes me feel good we're not doing that anymore so I'm gonna go get a smoothie and then do some work and go to the gym at FAU and do a little upper body. I did squats yesterday and my legs are so tired. And I went to Soul Cycle last night too because it was one of our coworkers' birthdays and we're like doing a hill and Junior, the instructor, is getting in my face and he's like, come on, another turn, another turn. And I'm like, literally fuck off because I already did legs today. And he goes, I don't care, another turn, another turn. And I was like, I hate you so much. But he was probably right, I could use more resistance, you know? It's okay to have someone push you every now and then. parking at the gym and so I was like oh let me like park by the College of Education which is like 500 feet away from the gym no parking there the next closest is the parking garage by the library 
and there was only parking on the fourth floor. So now I have to like walk across campus just to go do like a stupid upper body workout. Also, this flavor of Celsius is just straight Sprite. That's all it tastes like. Done at the gym. Um, I know I had to park really far, but honestly, it was kind of nice to like walk through campus because I'm never really walking through campus. It's literally just like from my car to my class because I only have one class a week in person. And honestly, this campus is so beautiful. I like wish COVID didn't take so many years away because it's so nice here. I love it here. But now I'm going home and I need to eat lunch. I'm like starving. And then I go to work at Soul Cycle. And tonight, Rebecca and I are going out. Kuchina's is hosting Kiss Me Thursday. I think it's like the second Thursday, oh my God, of every month. They do a themed like night. So tonight is Playboy theme and I'm hype. Cause if you know me, you know I love Playboy. I watched the like American Playboy Hugh Hefner docu-series on Amazon when it first came out. And it just gained so much respect for Playboy. And I know a lot of people don't like it because it's like degrading or whatever you want to call it. But really, I feel like you can flip that and say that it's also empowering. Because before, women used to dress like very modestly and really conservative. And Playboy was kind of pushing the limits of like, women can dress however they want to dress. I have to teach tomorrow though. So somehow I'm going to have to force myself not to scream sing. <laughs> snack I showered and blew out my hair so that I don't have to do it later Rebecca's trying to get a reservation for tonight at Cucina's but they were all booked when I looked and I tried to call yesterday and nobody picked up so she's gonna try today I really doubt we're gonna be able to get one but it's always worth a shot calling because you never know what exceptions they can make <sighs> If not, we'll just go for the party after the dinner hour. I just think the dinner hour is gonna be really cool and super cute. Um, I'm on my way to work and I'm gonna be 10 minutes late, but it is what it is. Hi. What is there to do? I need to trash. You said, I'm fast and I'm on it. <laughs> okay. I just got out of work. All right, this lighting is god awful, but this is the fit for tonight. Just nude heels, a cheetah dress that you can't even see in this lighting, but this lighting also is just not flattering. But cute little dress, bag, heels, boom. Ignore the mess in my apartment right now. <laughs> I did the rest on my GoPro, but like, obviously I'm not gonna bring that with me. <laughs> Can you imagine if I'm like, <laughs> Alright, 
finally back home. It's like a little past 12. Not so late. It's a weeknight. I have to teach at 8.30 tomorrow morning, which means I have to be up in seven hours, which isn't bad, but most of everybody was going to one, two, three after. And if I had gone to one, two, three, that would have been a nightmare. And I'm learning to be better than that. And also like when it comes to my job, I don't wanna mess around, especially. So calling it a night, gonna have a little water and wash my face, go to bed. But it was fun, had a really good time. Not as playboy as I thought. Like if you look at the footage of the dancers that I took, like the first outfit was playboy, but after that I'm like, where's the playboy fits? Like, I feel like they just recycled the old outfits from the Kiss Me Thursdays of the months before, which like is fine, you know, reduce, reuse, recycle, but I was expecting a little more Playboy. I wish we had gone for dinner because I feel like dinner hour was a different story. So we decided for March, Kiss Me Thursday, we're just gonna make a reservation like now and that way we're secured for dinner so we don't have to like try and beg for a reservation and not get one, you know? So yeah, I'm just gonna wash my face, take all the glitz and glamour off and go to bed.